Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, we will see how to create a bundle product in WooCommerce. So here is an example of bundle product in WooCommerce. You can add different products in a single bundle and people will be able to buy all these products as a single product. You can see that we have added three t-shirts in a single product and people will be able to increase the number of quantity in a particular bundle. So this one is created using a free product bundles plugin. And here is another option of product bundle using a paid plugin that is WooCommerce product bundle plugin. And here also you can add different products in a single bundle. And using a paid plugin, you will be able to add variable product in a product bundle. Here in this example, you can see that people will be able to select the size of the product in a bundle. So in this video, we are going to use two different types of plugins. One is a free product bundles plugin and another one is WooCommerce products bundles plugin, which is a paid plugin. So let's start with the video. So we will start with the free plugin installation. I'm already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Now let's go to the plugins, then go to add new and search for the plugin WooCommerce product bundles. Now here you will see the plugin that is called as WPC product bundles for WooCommerce. This one is the plugin that we are going to install. So click on install now and click on activate. Now we have got the plugin installed. Here you will see the option WP Clever. You can go to product bundles and here you will see the basic settings of this plugin. We will see all the settings later. So let's go to the WooCommerce. Now let me show you the website first. This is a dummy website. Let's go to all products. Now you will see all the products on this website. Now I want to bundle these four products. So one, two, three, four. So these are all t-shirts that I want to bundle and I want to sell them in a bundle. So people can buy four shirts at a time and they will get an extra discount with the bundle products. So right now you can see that the price of each product is uh, 350 rupees and the sale is for 250 and you are going to offer extra discount when they buy these four products at the same time okay so let's see how we can do it now let's go to the dashboard again and we are going to create a new product that will be a bundle product so here go to products and then go to add new okay now let's name it as t-shirt bundle let's say four t-shirt t-shirts bundle this will be the name of the product okay now let's uh, assign a category that will be t-shirts from here select the product type that will be smart bundle so when you install this plugin you will get an option smart bundle select that one now search for the products so this is the first one let's say t-shirt printed brown t-shirt now let's add one more so we are going to combine these four products okay so these are the four products one two three four regular price will be you can see that it's 250 250 so four 250 it will be thousand so leave it as it is if you want to add discount you can simply add the number here so when they purchase these four products in a bundle they will get an extra discount of 10 percent or you can select an amount so it will be some fixed amount like 200 rupees or whatever amount you want you can specify the amount here okay and if you feel both the amount will be used okay so this will be the condition custom quantity allow the customers can change the quantity of each product so they can buy one Two, three so this will be the minimum and this will be the maximum number of products that they can add into product bundle okay shipping fee if you want to add some shipping fee you can apply the shipping fee here manage stock basically the inventory will be managed on the product level because we have four different products and suppose we have 10 quantities of this particular t-shirt then that inventory will be managed on the product level itself. If you want to enable the stock management at the bundle level, you can check this option. Okay, now custom display price. If you want to show some other price, you can show here. And this is about text and later under text. I'll show you that later. 
Now let's set up some product image. I already have product image uploaded. So this is an image of four t-shirts at the same time. If you want to add some short description, you can add this short description here. And this will be the long description. So let's publish the product. Okay, now let's view the product. Now here you can see that four t-shirts are added here. This is the image. And you can see that the regular price is 1000 rupees and we have an extra discount of 10% that will be for 900. Okay, so you can see all the four t-shirts here. If they want, they can increase the number of t-shirts. So they can add as many t-shirts as they want. Okay, and you will see the difference in the price here. They can add to the card. Okay, now let's do one thing. We will manage the number of quantities here. Okay, now we are not letting them go beyond three. So they can buy minimum one and maximum three. And let's click on update. Now let's refresh it. Okay, now let's try to add more than three. Now here you can see that they won't be able to purchase more than three t-shirts in a single bundle. So the benefit for the customer will be 10% additional discount if they purchase product in bundle. Uh, this plugin is a free plugin and you will be able to add only the simple products in bundle. Now let's say we have variation of this t-shirt. Uh, let's say this is a printed t-shirt and we have different sizes like medium, small and large. You won't be able to add variable product using this free plugin. Let's see. Uh, let me open this particular product. Okay, now let's edit the product. Okay, this is a simple product. Now let me change it to variable product. Let's add some attribute. I'm going to add attribute that will be the size of the product. So we are going to make it a variable product with different sizes, small, Okay, used for variations and we are going to create variations. Okay, so we have got three different sizes for this product. Let's see the add the pricing 250 and the sale price will be price will be 350 and sale price will be 250. 350 and 250 now let's update the product now let's update the product now we have got this product updated as a variable product with different sizes now let's refresh this product bundle now you will see that only three products are there and the product that we just updated as a variable product is not the part of this bundle product so using this free version of product bundles plugin you won't be able to add a variable product in the bundle product so you can also buy a pro version of this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box that will be wpc product bundles for woocommerce and the pricing it shows is 2803 rupees it's in rupees and it is approximately 35 dollars so you can go ahead and buy the Plugin and you will be able to add many features to the free version you will see that add a variable product or specific variation to a bundle so there are different features added with this pro plugin now we are going to use this woocommerce product bundles plugin you will see this product here and the price of this product is 49 dollars i already have this plugin downloaded and you will be able to add different products using this woocommerce product bundles plugin i'll give you the link in the description box for this one also you will find this plugin on the woocommerce website itself and you will get one year extension updates one year support and 30 days main and 30 days money back guarantee with this plugin now here you will see different features of this plugin okay now let me install this new plugin so let's go back to the dashboard then go to plugins and go to add new. 
Now I'm going to upload the plugin. Install it. Activate the plugin. Okay, so we have got this plugin installed. This is the plugin WooCommerce product bundles. Okay, now let me create a new product using this new plugin. Okay, so we'll name the product first. Category, select category t-shirts. Now from the product data, you will be able to select product bundle. This is the option that we are going to select. The smart bundle is for the free plugin and product bundle is for this plugin that we just installed. So select product bundle. Okay, now here you will see the option product bundle products, click on it. Let's leave the layout options as it is. And here you will see the option add product. So search for the product again. Okay, now here, we, here you will see different variations. If you want to filter, you can filter. So right now leave it as it is. We will check these settings later. Now let's add another product. So we are adding the same four products. Okay, now let's add the product image also, the same image. So we are creating a new product using the new plugin. So click on publish and let's view the product. Now here you will see the bundle product and this one is the product with the variables. So here you will see the option to select the size that we created for this particular t-shirt. So people will be able to select size for this product and they will be able to add the product to the product bundle. So you can see that we are able to add the variable product using this WooCommerce product bundles plugin. Now let's see other features. Okay, so we are back to the product. Go to bundle products and here are the variations of this product. Okay, now here you can see that we can add the quantity also for each product. So we are going to limit from one to three. Okay, default quantity will be one. If you want to make this optional, you can also make this optional. So people will be able to make it zero and if they don't want to buy, they, they can skip this product from the bundle. So I'll just uncheck it. Now let's see the other option. Maximum quantity, we are going to change it to three. So people will be able to buy three t-shirts from a bundle. Here you will see filter variations. Check to enable only a subset of a variable variation. So let's try checking it. Okay, so you can select one of the variation. So if you want to select only a single variation of that product, you can select only a single one. So only that particular variable will be available for the product bundle. So let's uncheck it. So you can see that the default selection, you can override the default selection also. So let's change it to small. Now let's update it and see how does this look. Let's refresh the product. So you can see that this is the variable product and you will be able to change the quantity also, not more than three. So here you can see one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's change them to one. Now we need to add some discount also. So let's go back to the bundle products. Let's go back to the product and here you can select the option price individually. So here you can add the discount also. If you check this box, you will be able to add the percentage discount on that particular product when it is added to the bundle. Okay, so I'm going to add 10% discount. Okay, so you can see that 250 is the price of each product. Update it. And let's refresh it. 
Now you can see that the price is 990. So 250, 10% discount is 225, 315. Okay, so I think this is the price green printed t-shirt is a different pricing is here so we have given 10% discount on each product when it is added to the bundle product so let's add to the cart okay we have selected the medium size let's view the cart and you will see all the four items are added here so this is a single product you can see it here it's showing what is inside this particular bundle okay so you can see the difference between these two products one is created using the WooCommerce product bundles page and the other one is created using the free plugin here is the one with the paid plugin you will be able to select the variable product in the product bundles and here you can see that you are not able to add a variable product in the product bundles so this is how you can use the product bundles plugin and create your own product bundle and sell different products in a single bundle so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.